live streaming workout. I'm Jessica McCowan. I'm a certified personal trainer, boot camp coach, and lean accountability coach. In today's workout, we are going to do a total body workout. I'm super excited about it. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have some weights at home, grab them. But if you don't, no worries. I'm going to show you some things that you can do to make these moves challenging even without dumbbells, okay? If you need a mat for any floor work or a towel or something like that to make it a little bit more comfortable, go grab that. Make sure you have some water close by, crank up some music on your end, and let's get started. All right, let's get right into it. We are going to get warmed up together. So just side touch with me, just step side to side. Now in this workout, I'm gonna show you lots of different options. So I need you to take this workout at your own pace and your own level. I'll kind of mix up the options as we go. But again, you're gonna do what feels the best to you, right? Because we're all here to get in a good workout. All right, so let's bring the heels up towards your butt. Good, that's gonna help stretch out here through the fronts of the legs and the quads, loosen up those knees, and then we're just gonna move the arms here too. Like I said, today is a total body workout, so I wanna get everything warmed up and loosened up. We're gonna be here for about 40 minutes from start to finish. And again, I'm just so glad that you're here with me today. All right, let's slow this down. We're gonna bring it to the front, alternate, pull the knees up, big reach at the top, big stretch, and then pull those knees up. Good, warming up those hip flexors, getting the shoulders good and warm. We're gonna be using those a lot today. Good, now slow it down even more. We're gonna do some alternating front kicks. Now I'll turn to the side so you can see that. Notice I'm bending my knees a little bit. Feel free to do that as much as you need to. Good. And I'm sure you're feeling where that's stretching, right? In the backs of the legs, in our glutes, and in our lower back. And then, again, we're still getting those shoulders warmed up here, keeping them out by our sides. One more on each side. Good, now we're gonna do a little torso rotation. So just twist it side to side. Get that back nice and loosened up. Good. Couple more of these. And then just come, stand still, shoulder rolls. Up and back. So think about shrugging your shoulders up and back. Good, one more. Now reverse that, roll it forward and back. Good, two more. All right, now let's open the chest. So take your thumbs, just push them back. Good, and then reach forward. Let's do it again. Open the chest, big stretch. Reach forward. Good, arms up, feet together, reach to one side. Stretch out that side, other side. Good, now take your feet out a little bit wider. We're gonna kind of hinge forward at the hips. Bring the arms down. Inhale, bring that up. Again, bend your knees as much as you need to here. And we're just gonna flow with our breath. So I want you to exhale, come down. Inhale, up. Good, that feels really good on the backs of the legs, right? Two more, just like that. Again, take it at your own pace. Bend the knees as much as you need to. We're gonna do that one more time. This time, just stay down, hold that stretch. And then what I want you to do here is just kind of swing the arms, let them sway side to side. Good, come back in the center, hold. Bend your knees even more, and let's slowly, slowly bring that up. Do a couple more of those shoulder rolls on top. All right, how are you feeling? 
Starting to feel loosened up now. Okay, good. Let's get into this and start to get our heart rates up a little bit, and then we'll get into that workout portion, okay? So yes, we're still in the warm up here. Just side touch. If you want to take this up a notch, you could do a little hop side to side. But if you want to keep it lower impact, or maybe you've got some neighbors underneath you, or maybe the kids are still asleep, or something like that, you want to keep it more on the quieter end, just side touch, okay? All right, so 15 seconds here. Step it or hop it. So like I said, we are just still here in the warm up. I want to get that heart rate up, get that blood pumping. Three. Two, one. All right, now, march in place or jog in place. Your choice. Just as long as you're moving your arms and you're moving your legs, that's all that I care about right now. Just pump those arms, pump those legs. Five more seconds. We're gonna do some jumping jacks. I think everybody knows how to do those. Then I'm gonna show you a lower impact. Ready? Let's go. So, half jack right here you're tapping you're bringing your arms up and out to the side and then again that regular jumping jack is going to be here okay so i'm going to do that quieter lower impact option but you take it wherever you want to go five more seconds all right you get warmed up now yep i thought so we're going to run through those one more time side touch or lateral hop let's go you have 15 seconds. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. March it out or jog it out, up to you. All right, so hopefully at this point, you're starting to breathe a little heavier, maybe even starting to sweat a little bit, right? Three, two, one half jack or regular jacks. Let's go. You have 15 seconds. This warm up's going to be complete. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Great job, you guys. Are you ready to get into it? We're getting into the workout portion now. I'm going to grab a dumbbell. But again, if you don't have a dumbbell, you could do this just body weight. You could go grab soup cans. You could grab a jug of water. Whatever, make do with whatever you have, okay? All right, so here's the move. I'm gonna show it to you, and then we're gonna get going, okay? Because I really wanna talk about form. Make sure we've got this down right. Option one, you're gonna do a step back lunge, okay? So maybe, Maybe you need to hold on to the wall for balance. If so, grab onto the wall. And it's up to you how low you go, okay? The lower you go, the more challenging. But if you've got some knee issues, you're gonna wanna keep that higher, okay? Then we're gonna pop it up, press it up. But no weight, do the motion without the weight, okay? So, step back lunge, curl to press on one side. Second option is a curtsy lunge. Now notice on that curtsy, the foot comes out, okay? Kind of back behind. Same thing right here. Again, hold on to the wall, chair, table, whatever. Are you ready? Get set, we're going for 40 seconds. Let's go. So, everything is timed. So you can go at your own pace. No need to count your reps. I'm gonna do all the timing for us. And notice how I have my hand out here to the side. That's just to kind of counterbalance. Um, and that would be a great place to have a chair to hold on to if you needed it. But you can always take it here. Do whatever feels right with this arm. You got about 10 more seconds. So again, today is a total body. Notice we're hitting the lower body and then we're working this bicep and shoulder. That's time, good. We're gonna do about a 10, 15 second recovery here, other side. So now you know what to do, let's do it to the other side. Get ready, let's go. Step back, curl, press. So now that you know the move, I want you to focus in, okay? Think about what you're doing. Good. 
breathe, focus on that breathing. That is one thing that for sure happens when we do total body combo move workouts. That heart rate really gets up there. So focus on that breathing. Again, take it at your own pace, okay? You're doing good, doing good. About five more seconds. And that is time. All right, team, we're gonna do it all again. So I want you to go back to that side that you started on. One more round through these, and then we're gonna get in some cardio, all right? Get ready. Back to that first side. Let's go. So let me talk about these lunges for a second. You guys just keep going. Like I said, if you feel any knee discomfort, what you're gonna wanna do is just decrease that range of motion, okay? And if the curtsy lunges hurt, then you want to do that step back reverse lunge instead, okay? So listen to your body. Take care of it. Good, come on. You got about 10 more seconds here. Filling in that bicep and shoulder. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, other side. Now, for those of you guys who don't have weights, maybe you're using a soup can or something, okay? Maybe you don't have anything. Let me talk to you about this. Just resist. Your body weight can be just enough, but focus in, resist. Create that resistance. Ready? Let's go. Other side. So step back, reverse lunge, or curtsy lunge. Up to you. Good. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and say this, and we're just gonna go ahead and turn those abs, turn that core on right now. And what I mean by that is pulling the belly button in. Brace here on the front, the sides, and the back. Continue to do that throughout the entire workout, and I will remind you of it. No worries about that. 10 more seconds. How you guys doing? Are we okay? Three, two, one. Good, all right, if you have weights, just go ahead and set them out of the way. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of cardio here. Option one, you're gonna do a knee repeater right here. So this is low impact, cutting down on the noise, okay, right here. The second option, you're gonna add a jump to it, okay? All right, so we're gonna do 30 seconds on that side, 30 seconds on the other side. You ready? Get set, get in position, whatever side you wanna start on, let's go. So I'm gonna do option one, and you're gonna choose your speed. So if you wanna speed this up, you go for it. Again, second option, add a jump. Do whatever feels right with your arms. Good. You got it, guys. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. 10 to 15 second recovery. Catch your breath. Side touch. Maybe march in place. Maybe you're feeling really good and you want to jog in place. Go for it if you are. Other side. Let's go. Option one, right here. Speed it up if you want. And add that hop to it if you want. And if you're hopping, come on, make them big. Good, good, good. You got this. Stay with it, just keep moving. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, all right. You already earned it. Water break. Walk it around, catch your breath. So that was group one of four. That's the template of today's workout, okay? We've got those strength moves. We do two rounds through. Then we've got a cardio move. We do it twice, okay? All right, I'm gonna grab some water. You grab some water. Let's catch our breath. We're gonna move on to the next group. Okay, so we're going back to 
doing some lunges. We're going to make it a stationary lunge. So we don't move here. We were moving in the other lunge. Not this one, okay? So again, the first option would be to lessen that range of motion. Hold on to the wall, chair, table, couch for balance. We're gonna have this arm up, okay? We're gonna do a little lunge and a kickback. A little lunge and a kickback. That's option one. Option two, you're gonna go lower and kickback. Now, be really careful with that kickback that you're not swinging it, okay? It's a little move. Elbow up. When you come up, extend back. Think about that tricep. Everybody wants to work those triceps, right? All right, guys, pick a side that you want to start on. Again, if you need to, hold on to the wall for balance. Get that elbow up. Ready? Let's go. I'm going to do option one. So, little lunge. Think about driving your hips down towards the floor. I also want you to think about relaxing your shoulders. I see this a ton doing this move. Everybody wants to tense and kind of shrug the shoulders, but I want you to think about keeping the shoulders down away from your ears. Now obviously watch me for a second, but once you've got the move, kind of keep that head neutral. That's time. Did you guys feel that? My legs were burning. My tricep was burning. Let's do that to the other side. So what I'm trying to say is with that head and neck, I don't want you straining, looking up at me the whole time. Think about relaxing through the shoulders. Keep that spine neutral. Ready? Other side. Let's go. So again, I'm doing that option one. And again, if you don't have a weight, do it without. You can do the motions here. Here's the one time that I'm okay with you just going through the motions. But I need you to focus in. Think about what we're working. Squeeze the back of your arm. Yes, see? I feel that contraction even without weight. You got this. You're doing so good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right, team. We're doing them again, okay? Again, you know what to do now. Focus in, dial it in, own it this round. We're going in five. Get set. Let's go. Again, on that lunge, you're thinking about driving your hips straight down. The majority of my body weight is pushing through the front heel. Notice how my knee is directly over my ankle. Okay, so you want to think about doing the same. Try not. This is what you don't want to do. You don't want to push forward, okay? Push straight down, yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Really good job. All right, shake it out, stretch it out. We're gonna do that to the other side. One more round here, then we're moving back to that cardio, okay? You guys are gonna like this one. Get ready, get set, let's go. Drive the hips down, extend back. Relax your shoulders. No tension in the head and neck. Beautiful. I know you're doing so good. You look so good. All right, talk to me, team. How you doing on your end? Breathe. We got it. And one. Good, good, good. All right, set that way out of the way if you have it. Option one, we're gonna do some side to side squats. Now, let me talk to you about a squat real quick. On a squat, you wanna push 
your hips back like you're sitting back into a chair. And I love to use an actual chair or couch or something to guide on getting that form just right, okay? So we're gonna do that side to side, okay? From the front, looks like this. And we wanna move pretty quickly because we wanna get that heart rate up here. That's option one. Option two, we're gonna make it a pop squat, okay? So you're going out, hopping in. There's an option three this time. It's a pop squat with a twist. Here, here, okay? I call those surfer pop squats. 30 seconds on, two rounds. Are you ready? Get set, let's go, come on. Let's work, let's get that heart rate up. Again, I'm gonna do option one this first round, and I just want you moving quickly enough that you're getting out of breath, you're getting the heart rate up, okay? And you guys know, those of you guys who are in immediate or advanced, you know where I want you going here, right? Yes. Three, two, one. Good, all right, 15 seconds, breathe. Just like in that first group, we were either side touching, we were marching, or we were kind of bouncing it out in that recovery, right? All right, do it again, come on, let's go. Option one, option two's right here with me. Option three, go, come on, just go. Good, sit those hips back. Keep that head up, chest up, use your legs. You're doing awesome. Come on, stay with it. 10 seconds. Yes, you can. I'm right there with you. Three, two, one. You crushed it. Great job. Water break. Walk around, catch your breath. Don't go sit down. Stay up, stay moving around with me, okay? And like I said, guys, I am right here with you. I'm not just showing you what to do, telling you what to do. I'm in it with you, right? Yes, okay, next move. If you don't have weights, you can definitely do this one without weights, okay? If you need to, you're gonna hold on for balance. But let me show you what it's gonna look like with the weights. We're gonna do a side leg lift. As the leg lifts, the arms lift. We're doing a front raise, okay? So we're just lifting up to shoulder height, slight bend in the elbows, try not to lock them out. We don't need that tension on the joints, keep them soft. We're going in 10 seconds. Again, if you wanted just to do the lower body part, you could, okay? Ready, get set, let's go. So, leg lift and a front raise, whatever leg you wanna start on. <clears throat> now, the leg that's lifting out, I want you to flex your foot, okay? Think about pointing your toes up. That lets me know that you have all those muscles engaged. Now, the front raises, if that gets too challenging and you wanna alternate them, you can do that too, okay? Lots of options. Almost. All right, I'm starting to sweat now. How about you? Three, two, one. Now, something to think about on that side raise. I don't just want you slinging it up there. Stabilize through the upper body. Where it's a little move, just lifting that leg out, focusing on that outer thigh, okay? So we're gonna do that to the other side. I want you to flip your grip if you have weights, okay? Or if you've got soup cans. Underhand front raise. Ready? Let's go. Remember, flex your foot, engage all those muscles through the leg. Yes. And remember, alternate it out if you need to with that upper body. So much to think about, right? You're doing good. <clears throat> now, with this standing leg, that's another joint 
that we do not want to lock out. So think about keeping a nice athletic stance, softening that knee. 10 more seconds, come on. Legs and shoulders, legs and shoulders. My favorite two muscle groups to work, and that is time. Whew, all right. I was definitely feeling that through my outer thigh and glutes. How about you? And through the shoulders, for sure. Okay, we gotta do them again. One more time on each side. Hang in there with me. Ready? Let's go. You guys, you are stronger than you know. You can do this. I know that you can. Focus, breathe. Exhale up, inhale down. Yes. But hey, listen, if you need to take a longer break, you take what you need. Maybe you need to even hit pause. Hit pause, then come back in when you're ready. 10 more seconds. No shame, no judgment here. This is your workout. Three, two, one. Yes, you did good. I know you did. Okay, one more round on the other side. We're gonna flip that grip if you're doing that front raise with me, okay? We're going in five. Stand up nice and tall and straight. Good posture, ready? Let's go team, come on. 40 seconds here. So, you're probably saying, I'm feeling this in my shoulders for sure, but when you flip that grip, where else are you feeling that? Biceps, yes. Strong biceps. Halfway. Alternate it out if you need to. Whew. Take a little pause in there like I did, if you need. Keep that foot flexed, come on. Keep lifting out to the side. Stay with me, finish it. Three, two, one. Awesome job, okay. I'm gonna set my weights out of the way. We've got cardio coming up. Basic move, you've probably seen it before, you've probably done it before, mountain climbers. And yes, mountain climbers, if you're doing them on the floor elevated, use a ton of shoulder strength. And I paired these two together just for that, just for you. But let me show you the first option, okay? It's gonna be here. You're gonna reach, 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 reach. So you're moving, you're getting your heart rate up, right? Again, that's all that matters. Second option, elevate on that chair, table, or bench. You can go slow or speed it up. Just make sure you've got your hands right underneath your shoulders. Same thing goes for the floor. Hands right underneath the shoulders. Hips down, but not too far, okay? So try to keep it right here. Slow or fast. Brace that core. Just like we talked about in the beginning, tighten it up, stomach pulled in. Are you ready? Get set, 30 seconds, let's go. I'm doing option one and two in this first group. But if you wanna do them down on the floor, you go, 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 go. Good. Nice work, nice work. Again, you're moving at your own speed, and what matters is that you're moving. And I say this in all of my workouts, just move, just move. 10, nine, eight, seven, three, two, one. Good, shake it out, shake it out. If you're down on the floor, just stay down. Feel free to sit back, stretch that out if you need to. We have one more of these. I'm gonna do them down on the floor. You go where you wanna go. Ready, set, let's do it, come on. 30 seconds. Nice, strong core, lungs are open. Good. Come on. What is motivating you today? Think about it. You got it. Hang in there. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoo, high five, you guys. Listen, we have one more group to go. 
then a cool down and stretch. We are almost there. Keep going, stay with me. So grab me some water. This next group, we're really gonna focus in on chest, back, and the entire posterior chain. The back of the legs, the glutes, lower back, all that good stuff, okay? to recover while I'll show you this first move. A little bit more shoulders, okay? Palms open. What you're gonna do is bring them out and up to meet at the top. Pull them into your chest. Reach it out and back down. Are you with me? Ready? Let's go. So up, pull in, out, and down. Yes. Yes, good. Think about the chest. You guys keep going without weight. I'm bringing my hands together. I'm pushing them together, creating that tension, creating that resistance right there. Good, so if you don't have weights, no excuses here, come on. Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, And one, good. Next move, deadlift. Now, lots to think about here. If you have weights, we're gonna keep them close to our legs. We're gonna push our hips back. So we're hinging at the hips, keeping that back nice and flat. We're gonna do a wide row and up. From the front, looks like this. Down, row, down, up. Are you with me? Ready? Let's go. Now, super, Super important to brace the core. So think about belly button in towards the spine. Now a deadlift looks different for everybody, okay? So it really depends on your flexibility and where you feel it, okay? So I usually feel it right here, right around the knees. My hamstrings are pretty tight. So that's a good range of motion for me. When you're doing that back row, think about squeezing your shoulder blades together. Good. Five seconds, team. And time. Let me show you what that would look like without weights, okay? So you're still going down. You're still getting that stretch here through the hamstrings. You're gonna pull up, squeeze down. I want you to come up, squeeze your glutes on the top. One more round through. Let's start back here. Ready, stand up nice and tall and straight. Let's go. So bring those weights or hands out to the front. Pull in, squeeze, and then down. Good. Yes. Think about what we're working. Chest and shoulders. Nice work, you guys. We're halfway here. So good. Nice and controlled. Control it. Great job. Three, two, and one. Very good. All right, let's do that deadlift to wide row. Again, I want you to think about that total posterior chain all the way from the upper back, all the way down the backs of your legs. Get ready. Stand up nice and tall and straight. Let's go, hinge, pull, squeeze, come up, squeeze the glutes on the top, yeah. Get that little extra glute work in. Might as well while we're here, right? That never hurts. Keep that core nice and strong. You're doing great. We are breathing. We have those lungs open. Give me a couple more reps. Let's do two more together. Come on. Squeeze that back. One more, make it a good one. 
Very good job. All right, set those weights out of the way. This is it. Last cardio and a nice cool down and stretch. Option one, you're gonna step, do a couple of side steps, side to side, okay? Do three or four, depending on how much room you have, okay? All right, the second option, you can add a little pep to your step and do a little grapevine. If you've ever done step classes, you've done this, right? Okay, third option, we're gonna make it a shuffle. Now, little fun fact, I was a basketball player, so I did a lot of those. So I'm gonna do those, but I need you to do whatever works for you. Take up nice big space if you have it. If not, use what you have. Ready? Come on, you guys. One minute of work left. Let's go. Now, you do not have to touch the floor. You could stay right here. Stay up if you want. Good. And then, also remember, you've got that little grapevine. If that's your jam or you're stepping. Good. Just move, right? Three, two, one. You're gonna hear me say that to you in your sleep. Just move. We gotta just get moving right now, guys. One more. What do you have left in the tank? Give it right now. Don't hold back on me. Let's go. up there but we're gonna feel awesome here in just a second as that heart rate starts to come down focus on your breathing deep breath through your nose exhale blow it out through your mouth good do that a few times at your own pace while you're catching your breath we're either side touching we're marching we're walking around our room whatever Focusing on that breathing, let me talk to you. If you love this workout, I would love for you to share this with your family, with your friends. Help me get the word out there that I'm doing these full length workouts from home that anyone can do, any fitness level, with or without weight. You know, just let them know that. Because again, it's super important anytime but right now, I just think it's really, really important. And I wanna share that with you. I wanna give you know, my passion, my love for this and send it your way, okay? All right, everybody just plant your feet. Let's all take a nice deep breath together. Big deep breath, inhale, arms up, lift your rib cage. Exhale, blow it out. Beautiful, do it again, inhale. All right, how are we feeling now? Feeling better? Good, one more time. Exhale, good. Take one foot, we're gonna press that heel down for a calf stretch, and then we're gonna pull this arm across, stretching out through that upper back and shoulder. That probably and hopefully feels really good to you. Just hold that stretch. Now we're gonna take that arm, we're gonna give ourselves a pat on the back, try to lift your chin, away from your chest the best that you can. Really stretch through the chest, stretch through the shoulder, and definitely feel that through the tricep. It worked a ton today, right? All right, shake it out, roll it out. Let's do all that to the other side, okay? Pull that arm across. Still focusing on that breathing. I don't know about you, my heart rate's still high. I'm still keeping my head up here, trying to let that heart rate come down. Nice and easy. 
Pat on the back. Good, release. Open the chest, reach back, just like we did in the beginning. Think about pushing your thumbs back. If it feels okay, you can lace your fingers behind your back, open up the chest here, if that feels okay to you. Always, always listen to your body. Good, bring your arms to the front. Think about spreading the shoulder blades, and I want you to take your chin, tuck it under, feel that nice stretch through the upper back, through the back of the shoulders, through the neck, I carry a lot of tension there. Most of you all do too. This is a great stretch to help relieve some of that tension. Inhale, big arms up, feet together. We're gonna do that side stretch again. Think about pushing your hip away. Reach, good, other side. Good, release that down. Nice, we're gonna take the feet wide. Okay, big wide stance here, and then just lunge it over to one side, and we're gonna kinda of twist, look over that shoulder. Good, just listen to your body, go where it feels good to you. Other side. Reach down in the middle, bend your knees as much as you need to. Feel that nice stretch through the entire backs of the legs into that lower back. Release your arms. Bend your knees, slowly roll it up. Good, shoulder rolls up and back. One more time. Everybody together, inhale. Exhale, blow it out. You are done, workout complete. Thank you all so, so much for joining me. I hope you had a great workout and I want to hear from you. So right here on YouTube, let me know when you get the workout done, when you completed it, what you thought about it. Um, maybe you're you know, catching it from Facebook or Instagram, or maybe you're in my online boot camp or in the Lean Elite group, wherever. We want to hear from you. Let me know when you got it done. Again, I'm super proud of you. I hope that you feel very accomplished. I hope you got in a great workout, and I hope this gives you energy for the rest of your day, um, and again, just makes you feel accomplished, and I'm super proud of you. Thanks for joining me, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.